Hey, what's up, you guys? How's it going? Wow. I'm going to blame the clams in there on looking at comments. <laughs> I got my buddy Brian here again. Brian, what's up? Josh Norco, how's it going out there? Uh, so nice to see everyone on a another Saturday, summer Saturday. Uh, I'm going to do the topic that I tried to do last Saturday. Uh, a lot of technical difficulties. And I have no idea why that was happening last week, but not this week. But I called, I just, I told Brian it was Murphy. You know, you can't have... 100% smooth live streams. It's just the rule. It's just the rule. Um, but so I'm going to just talk about some chord tricks. Nothing too fancy, but just some like, when I say chord tricks, chords that are not too difficult for your hands um, that you maybe haven't thought of, or maybe you have thought of, and I'm just going to break them all down into one video. Oh, um, also, real quick, I am playing a live show. I know people are watching from all over the place, including TikTok, the world of TikTok, um, and Instagram. It's great to see all of you. But yes, Saturday, uh, Saturday July 23rd, I'm playing a live show, and I'm playing it with a, f a band that I've played with over the years in San Diego, a rock band called Stripes and Lines. And I'm playing with them on July 23rd at the Belly Up in Solana Beach. Um, love to see anyone that can make it to that. That would be awesome. But yeah, July 23rd, Saturday in Solana Beach. which And also it's called the Belly Up. And we're going to be doing Stripes and Lines stuff. Has some orig it's an original band, but we're going to be doing a handful of choice. A handful of choice covers just to keep people's attention uh and yeah that's it july 23rd san diego hope some people can make it brian what's going on over there i appreciate the super chats yeah good good well i better uh oh dylan says would love to see you and paul david's do a collab uh i invited Paul Davids to do a collab and he turned me down but uh I think he's a nice guy and great content creator how about that was that a good answer he turned me down um but it's all good other others have turned me down as well so you know usually it's it was the women in high school but oh Hey, I'll be here all Saturday for the next 25 minutes. Um, keep your questions coming, though, because Brian is paying really close attention, hopefully. <laughs> I can't guarantee it, actually, because I'm kind of focused on over here. So chords, real quick. Here's some good ones that are easy. A C major chord. If you move that up a whole step, you, you get a, a type of D chord. It's D major. Add, I mean, you could say D major 11, I guess you could say. You don't have to worry about it. You can just substitute it for a D chord, though. Um, and with that, you can actually hammer on the D or G string right in that shape like you would for a C major. So check it out. Brian, do you like that? I'm going to show you why. So that was chord number one. 
Brian, you like that? That's who he's from. That's Brian Smith, ladies and gentlemen. Super chat, Johnny Vibes. Thank you. Johnny Vibes. Thank you. But Brian, that was the um, that was the Brian Smith scale. I call that. A uh, couple questions about Stevie T because there was a meme of "Dude, where's my pick?" and Stevie T, Stevie T and I were in the meme together, and I shared it, and it was really funny. I don't know Stevie T though, so I mean, I know who he is and everything, but I've never talked to him. Don't know him personally. We just both happen to be on YouTube and with guitars. Um. That's all. So we were just in a meme together. I don't actually know him. Um, and no, I didn't find the pick. I just grabbed a new one. I got a drawer of picks. But this one's pretty cool. It's got my own little logo on it. Okay, so that was one chord. But you can actually take that same C shape and move it up to a substitution for G. So your ring finger would be on the 10th fret A string. So check that out for a G chord. I just... Str Groove on a G bar chord. I can play this one with it. So I'm just messing with my middle finger. Adding my pinky to the 10th fret B string as well. I don't know. Brian, what do you think about that sound? You like that one too? Okay, I'm going to do something with that one. So. Another classic thing is take the E major chord and you can play it without your index finger, like so ring, pinky, and middle. I, ha I just did a YouTube video on this one, but you have that. But you can do bar chords like a G and instead of pressing down, just play either you can go like this. let the open E ring out and you can move it up to where the ring, I'll just say where the ring finger is, um, but it's like a G over E. So that's fifth fret, so check it out. Up a whole step to A over E.
also you could instead of letting the open E ring out, and there's other shapes. Uh, I mean, you can move it up. Like that. Um, Index finger can hit the root, just like a bar chord, but let the open B and high E ring out. So along those same lines, when you're playing a bar chord, for instance, like these. Classic major bar chord, mute with your middle finger that G string, but bar it and press everything down, but mute with the G string. So for like A major. And what you get is a real big five chord, meaning there's it's it's a power chord. And that's a power chord people overlook a lot, I think. Uh, reminds me of the Who, definitely. So a lot of people obviously think about this super power chord right here. But you can actually bar it all the way across and get that. And just mute that, that uh, G string. Same with the E chord. Yeah, so that's another good one. I like that one a lot. Okay, uh, let's see. Here's another really good one. A minor. It's in a lot of songs, right? Here's an A minor 9 that's really easy to play. I actually call it the Tenacious D minor chord. <laughs> but it's it's super easy and it's great. You just play the 5th fret of the D and the fifth fret of the G and you let those other chords ring out. And I'm not uh, hitting the E string. What's cool about that is you can also move it up a half step and have a kind of a major seven type of open chord.
The nine can make it jazzy, yeah, in the minor there. So A minor, the nine is a B note. So those are some tricks. I'll leave it at that. Uh, Brian, any important questions or anything? I like how the TikTok is a surprise you at this house. You That's a thing. Here, yeah. Or, what? Watch Martin all the time. And then I say, you do. I know, right? Um, well, they're they're out gigging now. That's they're, they're too busy with life. But um, Martin's what? Following you wherever you go, he will be following. Yeah, whatever. Uh, anyone else that's not on TikTok right now, something that is interesting specifically about TikTok is that is the uh, the overall comment all the time. And so it's, right, it's a certain generation then that, that's more spending more time on TikTok. And they are talking about, you know, a nostalgia factor that I have for them is certain age. Now I went to Tenacious D concert and a lot of those people came up, those types of people came up to me, um, late teens, maybe right out of high school age, early 20s, uh, watch me when they were little kids, and now they're out and about, and they're on TikTok. So I've noticed that a lot. Uh, Tanner's talking about perfect pitch hearing. I, I do not have it. Um, that's perfectly, most people do not. Most people do not. Yeah, Gen Z. Um, and I actually have two Gen Z children myself. So I get the some of the, the Gen Z stuff from them, you know. Um, someone said, best guitarist's hair. Best guitarist's hair. Brian May. I was going to say Jimi Hendrix. Um, was pretty epic. Um uh, best guitarist hair. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Hendrix with the headband. And the big hair coming out of the top. It's pretty badass. I'll, I'll go with that. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong with that. So we got someone who's going to go see Billy Joel tonight. Billy Joel tonight. That's awesome. Oh, wait, we got someone who's going to go see Billy Idol tonight. Billy Idol. I love them both. Which Billy would I want to go to? One Billy. Impo well, I would say Billy Joel, but only because I've seen Billy Idol at least twice. But I've never seen Billy Joel live. So that's why. I love them both, and they're so different. Um, Robert Smith. Yeah, he has amazing hair. But you don't think of Robert Smith. He does, but you don't think of Robert Smith as a guitarist. He's a front man, lead singer, songwriter that plays guitar as his tool. But guitar is not the number one thing. Um, what was his name? Um, Tom Shaw? What, what's the guy from Styx? Tommy Shaw? He had that page boy. I mean, it's not a good haircut, but he had like the most epic waterfall page boy cut out. That was pretty amazing. Billy Gibbons, facial hair, yes. Um... The guitar player from Linkin Park. Looks like Voldemort. Are you thinking Limp Bizkit? I don't know. Let's not talk about any of that. None of that. None of that. No, we don't have to do that. <laughs> it's basically what it was. That's basically what it was, yeah. Jerry doing the cure. That would be amazing, honestly. Never that's that that's one that's never gonna happen. Um if you if you do get a slip knot lesson, it would be my, my friend Jamie Slays coming on and doing it for me. I'm not doing it. Um Anything else, Brian, before we wrap it up? No, I think we're good. It's a, it's a wonderful Saturday, everybody. I'm just so glad that um, that everything worked well. I want to thank you all for watching.
once again, I know most people watching, there's a percentage of you, but most are not in the California area. But just I'll end this once again with saying that I'm going to be playing live July 23rd, a Saturday at the Belly Up Tavern in Solana Beach. Great venue, great city. Um, I'm playing with a band called Stripes and Lines. There's another local, popular local San Diego band playing called Aviator Stash. That's really good. And yeah, July 23rd, San Diego. July 23rd, the belly up. Come say hello. I'll be hanging around. So anyone in the California area ever wanted to come and say hello? Tanner, you keep asking about playing with small hands. I do. I have pretty small hands. Um, basically, I, I can do almost anything, but I'm not that comfortable with the with the thumb technique because my hand's not big enough for it to be comfortable. Um, so all you have to do is just play and make it work. You can do it. Also, look up Django Reinhardt, who was one of the most beautiful guitar players ever, and he only could had two functioning fingers on his fretting hand. So that's it. Oh, someone said Johnny be good. I mean, I can, I'll just do the just the little part real quick. Let's see. Thanks everyone. <laughs>